Hello there. The sham referendums are over and Moscow speaks of 99% approval. What a joke. The Ukrainian President Zelensky wants to liberate the regions. And that's why, what we're talking about today. Because despite the sham referendums held by Russian occupiers, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has announced the recapture of affected areas of his country. This farce in the occupied territories cannot even be described as an imitation of referendums, said Zelensky in his video speech on Wednesday night. We move forward and liberate our country, he said. The mock referendums were held in eastern Ukraine's Donetsk and uh, Luhansk regions, as well as in Kherson and Zaporizhia in the south. The occupation administration set up by Moscow said that the people there had allegedly voted in favor of joining Russia with more than 99% approval. That's so ridiculous. In a video address to the UN Security Council, Zelensky said, referring to Russian President Vladimir Putin, an action is the kind of action that puts it alone against all of humanity. A clear signal is now needed from every country in the world. And once again, after counting all the votes, 99.2% of the voters in Donetsk agreed, said the occupation administration there. Yeah, with the guns held like this. According to Russian information, it was more than 98% in Luhansk, more than 93% in Zaporizhia, and more than 87% in Kherson. Thus, an unprecedented annexation of the territories is likely to begin in the coming days. The mock referendums, which have been held for a total of five days since last Friday, amid great international protests, are not recognized worldwide. Because they were held in violation of Ukrainian and international laws and without observing minimum democratic standards. In the past few days, observers had pointed to numerous cases in which residents of the occupied territories had been forced to vote, and that openly with glass ballot boxes. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.